Hey folks, David Ross here. Welcome to my Kickstarter campaign for the Submersion guitar pedal. Now this is something I've been working on since July of 2020, and I have a fully working unit ready for production. As for how the Submersion works, it is a clean blend octave up fuzz that can also be used as a clean boost. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the backstory of the Submersion, how it functions, and also at the end, I'm going to have some sound clips for you. So if that sounds good to you, stick around and I'll talk to you soon. So a little bit of background on me. I started playing guitar in 2004, and in 2008, my interests moved from just playing guitar into building and repairing them. And this is something I've been at ever since. Um, in addition to making guitar pedals, guitar repair is actually what I do professionally here in Binghamton, New York. Um, so I've been doing guitar repair for about 15 years or so, and it was around 2016 or so when I got into guitar effects pedals. And for me, this was a pretty natural progression um, since I already had a working knowledge of guitar pickups and guitar electronics. Um, I started with just making simple circuits like the Fuzz Face and the Dallas Rangemaster, and my intention was creating my own line of uh, guitar effects pedals and my own original circuits and products. The idea for the Submersion guitar pedal began in July of 2020 when I was beginning to get deeper and deeper into guitar pedal design. As I mentioned previously, part of my process was looking into making simple circuits and trying to replicate them, and then eventually making fully working clones. This was the case when I discovered a schematic online for what looked to be a simple octave fuzz. Um, and this pedal right here is actually a clone of the first circuit that I found. Uh, this was actually the seventh guitar pedal that I ever made. I should mention that as a musician and guitar player, I have some very specific ideas about octave fuzz, which I'll get into later. But as for this pedal, I built it and it worked, but I wasn't really fully satisfied with how it sounded. And so I began to make changes, and this eventually led me down a very deep rabbit hole. My initial idea for the Submersion guitar pedal was a lot more elaborate than what it turned out to be in the end. Um, I wanted to create a pedal that would feature a blendable octave fuzz, a blendable big muff style fuzz, a uh, mid boost and cut, also with a switch for a high shelf. And uh, as you can see in this image, I went through many different versions of this and each of them had their own issues. There was always something that caused the circuit not to work as intended, whether it was noise in the bypass signal or foot switch popping, or just a strange interaction between the controls. Uh, looking back on these from where I am now in 2024, basically the issue with the design was that it was too elaborate, uh, it was too impractical, and ultimately it was just unstable. So I spent a lot of time designing a pedal that would not see the light of day, but there was a silver lining, and that was that I continued to perfect part of the circuit, which was the octave fuzz. So this right here is the end result of that pursuit. This is the finished version of the Submersion guitar pedal, and it serves as both a clean blend octave up fuzz and also a clean boost, which I mentioned in the intro. The volume control operates in two distinct modes. From the left to the midpoint, it functions as a standard volume control, while from the midpoint to the right, it acts as a 10 dB clean boost. In addition, the surface control adds as much or as little octave up fuzz to your guitar signal as you like. Adjusting this control slightly introduces an octave fuzz undertone, while cranking it up delivers a full-on octave fuzz effect. I've always enjoyed octave fuzz sounds, but I could never really find one that suited me. This is for a variety of reasons, uh, which I'll go over here, and just understand that I made it a point to solve all of these problems with the submersion. So the first problem is input impedance. A lot of popular examples from the 1960s and 70s had low input impedance, meaning they didn't always play well with the modern pedal board setup. Uh, for the submersion, I wanted to make sure that no matter where you placed it on your pedal board, it would operate as intended. 
Another issue is lack of range with the gain control. I feel that typical octave fuzz pedals tend to be either full blast or slightly less than full blast, regardless of where you set the controls. I made sure to have the controls for the submersion have a very wide sweep. As far as EQ choices, I've noticed that typical octave fuzz pedals have either too much bass or very thin treble or lack of mid-range. I solve this by making sure that the submersion is very well balanced sonically. Another thing is the lack of octave. I've noticed that a lot of octave fuzz pedals tend to be more dominated by the fuzz sound than they are the octave sound. And with the submersion, I really wanted to bring the octave to the forefront, much more so than in traditional pedals. In addition, some personal design choices seemed appropriate for this project. Um, I didn't want to have to rely on components which are scarce or expensive, like germanium transistors, for example. Um, I don't really feel that this adds practical value to the end user, and so I only use components which are commonly available. In addition, I wanted the enclosure to be a standard size. I also wanted a blue enclosure with blue knobs in a kind of monochromatic style. And because of this, an aquatic theme seemed appropriate. So in conclusion, the journey has come full circle. And what started out as a simple octave up fuzz pedal ended in the same place, but with all of the problems that I had with typical octave fuzz pedals solved completely. I also think that the pedal works really well in pretty much any musical context from heavy metal to blues or from country to rock um, and really everywhere in between. So I hope you'll join me in making the Submersion guitar pedal available to musicians everywhere. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon and all the best.